good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I have a brand new WWE action figure set up for you guys. As you guys can see, whole backstage area is completely full. I got crazy with this one. We got some fantasy booking style going on in this video. If you guys checked out yesterday's video of the fantasy booking of WWE Payback, that will play a role in today's Payback setup, as we can see right here. I did not do a WWE SummerSlam 2020 setup, which is really insane. You know, I usually do a setup for every pay-per-view, but I did miss it, and I do apologize for that, but you guys know Payback is coming up on this Sunday. It is just a week after SummerSlam, and today we're getting into it, guys. I had a lot of fun setting this up. Ton of chaos and mayhem going on. We're going to explain all of it. Get in here. Get all the good stuff going. I got some comedic spots for you as well, but let's go ahead and get started onto this setup, guys. WWE Payback coming this Sunday. Will we see some of this? Probably not, but you know what? I, I wanted to get a little creative here today. Let's get into the corner, guys. First up, you will see Seth Rollins hitting a stop on one of the members of Retribution. So Retribution is spread out among the setup. You got members of Retribution everywhere. And don't mind the masks and their attires. I just tried to make them as, you know, hidden as possible, as concealed as possible. So I put some hoods on them. Some of them have long coats. Some of them have long black pants. You got masks on all of them. So you won't recognize any. Or you might you might can call them out. I'll give you a challenge. Can anybody name all members of Retribution down in the comment section below? I'll heart your comment if you get it right. Try to list out every single member of Retribution what figure I use for them. You guys will have to watch the full video to find that out, but let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So right here, we have Seth Rollins knocking out a member of Retribution with a curb stomp onto the brick. We have seen this before. He has stomped his head in, and the brick has broken right there, so Retribution getting taken care of. Probably one of the only members on offense in this setup is Seth Rollins taking up this member here. If we come forward a little bit, guys, you will see Randy Orton, another member of the WWE roster who has taken out a member of Retribution. So you got one member here getting taken out, and then you have one member there getting taken out and that might be the only possible spots but Randy Orton hitting a nice RKO right there onto a member of Retribution. Right here guys you will see Buddy Murphy taken out so throughout the setup you're going to see a ton of guys laid to waste by Retribution which is the way I would book them. You know if you're going to book them nice you got to book them nice and strong not just wrecking some stuff and leaving man. Make them make a presence. I know we've seen some of it more and more as we've experienced it but I, I want to see them wreck havoc and right here in this setup you will see just that. So right here you have ladders and wheelchairs, stretchers all knocked over. Trash can back there with some crutches knocked over. You will see Ricochet has just been, see it's kind of weird because it, it's supposed to be like he just got thrown into it but who the hell could have thrown, I guess you could say this guy over here threw Ricochet into all that ish and it got knocked over and then Seth Rollins took him out but I don't know the time wouldn't make, he wouldn't be there if that was the moment there but yeah, we're, we're not going to talk about it. Over here you will see Cedric Alexander like what the hell's going on trying to help out his buddy R-Truth who got dumped into the garbage can over here so he's trying to help out Ricochet and R-Truth. And you guys know, I'm a, I'm a Cedric Alexander guy. I don't want my guy getting beat up in this setup. So I took care of Cedric. I took, I took care of Rollins. I took care of Randy Orton. So some other guys didn't get so lucky, but there you go. R-Truth getting put in the trash can. You got some other things knocked over. A lot of stuff in this in this setup you will have knocked over, you know, to give it the details of chaos and retribution wreaking havoc and wrecking everything and leaving, if you get what I'm saying. Right here, guys, you will see Andrade has been pretty much tied up in this tire. So he got tied up like a knot and shoved into this tire and then they put a retribution mask on him and I don't know I, I tried to find like a bag to put on his head couldn't find something like that so I just have Andrade getting destroyed right here through the tire and sitting right there getting tied up he can't move he's trying to he's kind of stuck there I guess you could say he's unconscious if you will but there is Andrade coming to the right a little bit you do have this hospital bed slash stretcher where Rey Mysterio has been knocked out no Dominic here but Dominic uh, probably would have got the work too if you get what I'm saying Rey Mysterio has been laid to waste as well another member of the roster getting taken out. You have a member of Retribution right here with the skull mask. You got a lady in there. I think there's one or two women in Retribution. I know one for sure, but here is one member right there. See if you guys can add that to your list of names. Right here, guys, we have another member of Retribution who has just destroyed Cesaro. Put him through the weight bench. You got the punching bag laying over, weights, uh, SmackDown Tag Team Championship laying there. And right here, this will tie into the setup later on, but you got Braun Strowman thrown through this brick wall here in the weight room or this part part of the weight room right there where the barbells go. So he got thrown through there. I'll, I'll name exactly who did that here in a couple moments when we get into the setup a little bit more. Coming forward, guys, we have probably my favorite part of the setup right here, and I thought this was great and it's hilarious. So you guys know that Baron Corbin, Trash Corbin, if you will, and Matt Riddle have been feuding a little bit. So I got Matt Riddle slapping Trash Corbin in the face with his Nike slide or his sandal. There you go. A little bit more there, right in the face. And I thought that'd be hilarious to have the Nike slide smacking him in the face there with the sandal 
Had to put that in the setup. You guys know Trash Corbin is trash, so we had to take him out there with the sandal. Let me give me some likes down below. You gotta give an automatic like for the sandal to the face. Automatic best part of the setup right there. Sandal to the mouth from Matt Riddle. So they, they're not even worried about retribution. He's worried about beating the hell out of Trash Corbin. Have we come forward a little bit, guys? Or backwards, I should say. You have another member of Retribution here, and you guys will see that the Fiend Bray Wyatt is laid to waste underneath all of these broken scaffolding and tables. It takes a lot to take down Braun Strowman and the Fiend, so you know that you gotta get you gotta bury them. You gotta put a lot of stuff on top of them. They're like horror characters out here. You gotta you gotta do something to take care of those guys. So the big strong guys are getting laid out here. The Fiend is buried up under there, and I think that's pretty cool. I think I've done that with Braun Strowman in a setup in the past, so I had to bring it back for the Fiend Bray Wyatt, and he is taken care of. He is discombobulated. He is disoriented, and I'm trying to think of another D word that is long. But if we come forward in the setup, guys, you will see this vehicle that is flipped over. It is destroyed. You have all this madness going on. Seats and bumpers and tables. Doors of the car ripped off. The windshield and everything just beat to hell. The car is completely destroyed, and you will see the new reigning, defending, Blue Universal Champion Roman Reigns on top of the car, standing tall, and members of Retribution are being led by none other than the big dog Roman Reigns. I think this would be a beautiful booking decision. I think it'd be great. You know, he could talk about how he left and how the ratings have been absolutely in the toilet since he left and he had to bring back something that is much better and he had to make and fix the WWE product. So I think that would be excellent to see him lead Retribution. I don't know if they have the balls to pull the trigger, but you have members of Retribution right here. And this is what happened to Braun Strowman. So Braun Strowman got speared by Roman Reigns through the brick wall. He ended up beating the Fiend Bray Wyatt at payback, and he is your new Blue Universal Champion. So Roman Reigns has taken out Braun Strowman and the Fiend. You guys know they are locking up for that triple threat match. So Roman Reigns is your new champion. He is standing tall on top of the vehicle. Retribution and Roman Reigns wreak havoc all over the WWE roster, and they are causing all kinds of chaos and wrecking everything and leaving, as Roman Reigns' shirt said, SummerSlam when he returns. So there is that. You got plenty of stuff just destroyed and everything like that. They even hooked up the boss man man they have Vince McMahon handcuffed to a wheelchair right here you guys will see on the back we do have him handcuffed to the wheelchair I was going to put a bag on his head just like Andrade but I could not find my bag accessory my Jake the Snake Roberts little bag accessory that it came with can't find that so I just have him handcuffed here and I tried to you know dip his head down make it look like he's knocked unconscious or beat the hell out of didn't do that either but maybe we can get that to it one day but Vince McMahon is handcuffed to the wheelchair and uh, he is getting taken out Roman Reigns celebrating over there with the Universal Championship. Really good imagery here. I love all the chaos, man. When you look back this way, tons and tons of chaos going that way, but let's move back. Let's move back to the back, guys. We have the Slambulance right here, the Ambulance, if you will. Akira Tozawa taken out with a trash can on his head. You have AJ Styles thrown through the wall of the Ambulance, and then if we look right here, you will see a table with a member of Retribution on top of it. The Apollo Crews US cha the Apollo Crews Champion right there. The Apollo Crews Champion. Apollo Crews, the United States Champion holding down the member of Retribution or making sure he doesn't move while the Intercontinental Champion Jeff Hardy jumps from the top of the Slambulance on to the member of Retribution. So I do want to put him through the table. You know we got to jump off. We got to hit a Swanton Bomb off the top of the Ambulance and go through that table. So we will definitely do that at the end of the setup. But for now, I do want to move along and show the rest of the setup before we get into that. But I did want to have the two champions there working together to take out Retribution as much as they could. Over here, guys, you will see Keith Lee, the newest member of the WWE main roster on Monday Night Raw. He had to be laid out through two tables. So, you know, Keith Lee's a massive guy, just like Braun Strowman, just like The Fiend. It takes a lot to put these guys down. So they had to use two tables. They put them through both tables to make sure that Keith Lee could not move. So he was put through both tables. And, you know, Keith Lee's a big dude, but he could not stand up to the fate and the might of Retribution and the big dog Roman Reigns. So Keith Lee is laid out right there. If we come back to the back a little bit more, you got more stuff knocked over, ladders broken, wheelchairs knocked over. You will see Bailey and Sasha Banks and they're not focused on retribution or anything, guys, because they are too focused on defending their women's tag team championships at payback, regardless of who they take on. I believe it's Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, but Bailey and Sasha got to put their differences aside, and you can see the gleam in Sasha's eye, man. She is pissed off. She is ready to take her out. I think that this will be the final straw that breaks the camel's back, and the women's tag team championships will be lost by these ladies, and we will get our Bailey versus Sasha matchup. Sasha obviously lost her title to Asuka at SummerSlam, so I know she's pissed off. And then finishing up the setup, guys, back here, we do we do have a member of Retribution getting taken out by the Hurt Business. So Bobby Lashley, Shelton Benjamin, and MVP teaming up to take out Retribution as much as they can. 
but uh, it probably won't be long until the big dog and the rest of Retribution take them out. But before we get out of here, guys, I do, again, want to do one more little sweep so you guys can make your guesses on who all these people are. Again, winner gets a hard comment. You see, it, it's the challenge. Can you name all the members of Retribution and who is hiding underneath the mask right here? And I don't, I don't want to show too much of it, but maybe you guys can use other videos for context clues or something like that. But as we go through here, before we have Jeff Hardy come off the top of the Slambulance and take out that member of Retribution over there, there is one final shot of everybody, guys. But I had a ton of fun with this setup. It was a ton of fun to do all the chaos. Any, any ones that require a lot of accessories and blowing stuff up and building and, and you know what I'm saying, setting things up is really, really fun and getting creative with the fantasy booking style. But let's get over here, guys, and go ahead and put this member of Retribution through the table and then hit it with a slow-mo before we get out of here. I don't know if I can do a swanton bomb. It's going to be really difficult to hit a swanton bomb because I'm trying to hold the camera and also commentate and also throw him through the thing there. But, oh, Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy coming off the top of the slambulance with a swanton bomb onto the member of Retribution. Oh, I mean, he went through it, but it wasn't that good. I didn't like it. Let's re 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 rewind it. Oh, Jeff Hardy coming off the top of the swanton bomb, and he put him through, but that still wasn't that good, man. Oh, Polo Cruz got taken out somehow, but Jeff Hardy coming off the top of the slambulance with a swanton bomb. There it goes. Off the top of the slambulance with a swan Epic sauce. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for the setup. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what your favorite part of the setup was. I think mine is the sandal slap. I mean, it's got to be the sandal slap, right? It's got to be the sandal slap, or it's got to be the big dog Raymond Supreme. Reigning Supreme. You get it. You get it. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.